Hey guys, I'm Crystal and Jernis with Infotainment.com and OBD Genie, here with this week's infotainment and auto industry news update for the week of January 13th, 2020. The 2020 Car of the Year Awards were announced this week. Judges voted on the finalists based on leadership, innovation, design, safety, handling, driver satisfaction, and the value for the dollar. The Car of the Year Award went to the Chevy Corvette Stingray, beating out two other finalists, the Toyota Supra and the Hyundai Sonata. The Jeep Gladiator was able to overcome two strong contenders to win the Truck of the Year Award, scoring better than the Ford Ranger and the Ram Heavy Duty. Last but not least, the Kia Telluride was the winner of the Utility Vehicle of the Year Award for its extensive list of available features and affordable price point. While we're on the subject of awards, it's almost time for the Oscars. An American brand and designer have found their way into the nominations for the film industry's most prestigious award. Ford vs. Ferrari, the critical acclaimed movie about two automakers' 1960s rivalry at the 24-hour Le Mans race, has been nominated for four Academy Awards. The film featured lead actors Christian Bale as Ken Miles and Matt Damon as Carol Shelby. The movie was nominated for Best Picture, Best Film Editing, Sound Editing, and Sound Mixing. The Academy Awards will be held on February 9, 2020. At CES 2020 in Las Vegas, Sony, most known for their electronics, such as phones and televisions, unveiled the Vision S, the company's first prototype electric vehicle. This week, another electronics maker threw their hat into the automobile industry, LG Electronics Inc., announces jumping into the in-vehicle infotainment industry. The company has signed a partnership with U.S.-based automotive voice recognition solutions provider Sorens Inc. to help develop the infotainment system. Under the deal, Sorens will help collaborate in developing LG's WebOS into vehicle operating systems equipped with voice recognition features. The system is a Linux-based infotainment platform specially designed to provide solutions for connected cars. Its openness allows companies in various sectors to use the platform. Apple and Google have already begun integrating smartphones with vehicles using the widely popular CarPlay and Android Auto app. A Madison, Wisconsin-based startup company, Dayroot, has plans to take phone integration a step further by making your smartphone a part of your car. The company is producing a piece of hardware called The Shelf. The shelf would replace your vehicle's current infotainment screen with a head unit that docks with your phone. The unit securely holds a phone or tablet and connects the device via Bluetooth to the car's computer and sound system. The product retails for about $399 with an installation price of about $100. And that's it for this week's industry highlights. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at infotainment.com. And also be sure to visit our website at infotainment.com. See you next week.